Yo, what is up boys? Today we have another viewer requested video and this deck may look like uh, only ranged cards, only guns, like both of those have been made, but this is actually only shooting cards, uh, which I don't know if, he has, if it has ever been made, probably, maybe, but definitely not on my channel. So uh, the person that requested it wanted to feel as if it was a battlefield, quoting his words here. Uh, so we have uh, Archer's Princess with the bow, we have Firecracker with whatever the crap she shoots with, uh, I don't even want to know. You have RG, Flying Machine, Cannon, uh, Musketeer and Three Musketeers with different types of guns and cannons or whatever. So um, let's jump straight into it, pretty straightforward idea, uh, just felt like I should explain what it is about. I really don't think that this deck will work well uh, because it has the same issue as basically any um, deck like with only ranged units uh, and the issue is that you don't really have uh, a distraction. If you have a prince running towards you, um, good thing we have our G man, uh, basically you can play a musketeer, but you don't have anything to help you tank for that musketeer. So, yeah, um, that's why it's kind of rough. RG should get two shots here, I think. That's nice. Okay, I will go for low archers. I hate this so much. I wish the archers didn't die. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a fan of this, as I said, it's rough, because ranged units also don't have too much DPS, actually. Um, usually, oh shit, he has a Valk and Mighty Miner, <laughs> he's mad. <laughs> yeah, uh, the b best DPS card we have is Cannon, probably followed by Three Musketeers, you know, probably Three Musketeers is at first place, but, you know, Nine Elixir, really? Uh, oh shit, he, okay, that's not even Hog Cycle. I mean, I thought this was a classic Hog Q deck, judging by the first five cards he played, but now he pulled out a... a yeah, sure, sure, I forgot about the barrel. He already played this one. I completely forgot about it. I will let the Musketeer go. Holy crap. Ugh. I mean, let me try going for low Evo Archers. Uh, that's bad. I will try to split three musketeers. Maybe he will waste his mighty miner and from there uh, We will see He logs fair enough He will go for mighty miner. Yeah, I wish I had a zap or a log anything would be good here Ah, Scar me Well um, I have no ideas, to be honest, I really don't, I mean, I guess just go all in, uh, he scar me, holy shit, I wish I had a spell, if I had log or zap, this would have been so much easier because I could have uh, reset the Mighty Miner or kill the Skarmy or even defend the Goblin Barrel better. I actually wish this was a normal Hog Cycle deck. The fact that he had two tanks like Mighty Miner, Valk, Skarmy, Goblin Barrel made everything harder. The only thing that is not hard here is me. It's 8 in the morning, for fuck's sake. What, what would you expect? Um, uh, focusing on the game, please, Dragon. I will let Fire Spirit go. I'm not too worried about playing Firecracker from the back, because even if he wants to activate King Tower with it... What is wrong with people today? What, 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 do, you want? what do you want from me? Do you need anything? Can I help you? Can why? Why would anyone wake up today and be like, holy shit, <laughs> am I getting sniped? Is this what it is? How? I don't know when was the last time I've played 
against Hog Skarmy. Like, actually, I have no idea when. Today, I played twice in a row against a very similar deck, with the only small difference being that he's playing Inferno Tower instead of Cannon, because, you know... Um, Cannon was not counter enough. You need an Inferno Tower for the RG. Obviously. At least this guy is not playing you Firecracker yet. He hasn't played it yet. He could play it, play it in any moment. So I'm not gonna celebrate too early. Um, let me go for Flying Machine. If this was a battlefield or a war or anything like that, I I can tell you this would be a lost war by every means. Like it's actually not going well. <laughs> okay. I mean, sure. Uh, I I had a feeling he had um. He had zap. I don't know. This feels very much like a um, deck that came out out of 2017 or something, and playing Hog Zap was was a thing back then. 100%. Uh, try to predict his. I mean, I tried to predict it, but this was not even a prediction at this point. Like he actually just played it three seconds after I already played the princess. So I don't know what he was thinking, but okay. Why? What is wrong with you? Jesus Christ. He's gonna play Skarmy and he's perfectly fine. That's the issue. I'm trying to tank for the Inferno Tower with the flying machine. I don't know. I, I know this is a play you've never seen before, but some weird things have to be done here. I mean, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> Princess for the Skarmy. Please work! The archer on the right side did something, I guess. Holy shit! Musketeers! Look at that! That was huge. <laughs> oh, holy shit! That was so much damage there! Oh my god! Th those were basically two almost dead musketeers. Jesus, that was... How did this guy lose this, actually? He has a Spellbait deck, and I got those spells. <laughs> I mean, someone could argue, oh yeah, but if you don't have spells, they cannot bait the spell out of you. That's not the point here. Uh, if you're playing against a Fireball bait deck and you don't have Fireball, but you have Bowler, you have Mega Knight, who cares that you don't have Fireball? Who cares? It's not needed. Uh, even against a bait deck. If you have good counters for bait cards, a wizard there would have been very helpful, for example, an executioner. Like, a lot of options there. Um, no, 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 the princess, why would you stand there? <sighs> I want to cry. But yeah, uh, that, that guy from before. Um... No! Fuck! He's playing like crap, and I can't do anything about it. And like another player playing zap. Okay, I mean at least it's not ho at least it's not hog barrel. At least it's not fucking hog barrel. <laughs> That's Sparky. That's the issue. <laughs> I don't have anything for it. I can play a ranged unit, but what the, what the hell is it gonna do? <laughs> I mean, I need to play something like this, I guess. Okay, that was perfect. I mean, it's still gonna get a charge on my tower, but I, I actually don't care. A charge from a Dark Priest is nothing compared to a shot Sparky shot. Uh, so yeah, the guy from before playing bait, just to quickly finish off, I cannot finish speaking, holy shit. Um, I, I just had nothing for his cards, like... It's spell bait, I have no spells, but... I actually had no way to deal with almost anything. Like, Princess was the only card that could save me there. And I guess... It did? 
firecracker, you're gonna get a shot here. <laughs> what? I don't understand. And at this point, I don't even think I want to understand. Please kill that mus- That- Not the musketeer, the mini P.E.K.K.A. But okay, I'm sure. Double lane pressure! He's gonna go for Dark Prince. What even is that? Okay, 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 that's perfect. He rages. F yeah, sure, you can go for it. Not like I care. I can surround the Sparky with my archers. Watch this. Hell yeah. That's skill. I'm gonna go for RG. One. Two. One more! No! I don't have spells! No, please, please, mams. I swear. Please. No, 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 no. That's why you play spells in your deck, guys. That's why you play spells in your deck. <sighs> I will play one more. I will play one more. Uh, I don't feel like it, but I will. I really would rather not, but I will. Who is Will? I have no clue. Um... Yeah, Sparky is not a good matchup, guys. Uh, if you if you didn't notice, like you don't really have a lot of counters for Goblin Giant. A mini Pekka would be needed. Some barb, some something that can deal damage up close. Having only shooting cards obviously doesn't allow you to play melee cards. You know, that's more or less how it works. That knight may get a shot, actually. Uh, I guess it was so. Uh, good poison then. Uh, I was questioning his poison, but it was actually decent. Um, let me play Musketeer. Still gotta figure out what he's playing. Maybe just a classic minor control deck. Just kind of surprised. Uh, like, it may be, but usually people just don't really play that kind of decks here. Uh, I'm not gonna say mid ladder, but, you know, it's usually a deck that only actually strong people play and it's hard to come across strong people out here um most people as you can see play hog rider barrel which i mean someone can be strong while playing it but you don't usually associate strength with hog bar barrel players that's actually kind of another commitment it feels like let me see if i can punish him for that uh, no, nah, Bomb Tower takes care of everything. I mean, well played. He actually had 9 Elixir there. Holy crap. I'm not expecting that. He's gonna maybe activate with... No, nah, he just logs. Fair enough. Re not Really not a fan of playing against Minor Control. I swear, it's not something I'm enjoying. At least... Um... I don't have to worry about not having ranged cards, like not having melee cards, only having ranged cards because, you know, you don't really need melee cards here. Like, the only thing I would love to have is a counter for his Musketeer, which I don't really have, but it's okay. <laughs> How would you deal with four Musketeers, mate? I mean, that's... That's something. Can he defend? Okay, decent log, I guess. Okay, RG on the tower. That's three shots at least. With a firecracker shot in between two. Go for cannon card to snipe the musketeer. Solid. So yeah, we used... What was that supposed to be, buddy? <laughs> okay. And miner on the prince? Really? I don't know about that, but sure, his delivery is pretty damn annoying, but I mean, we will make it work, maybe. Okay, that's huge, that's huge. Gotcha. 
Okay. Actually catches everything with the poison. Holy fuck, I thought that this was outside of the range. Shut up! Shut up! Don't let me scream at 8 a.m. But shut up. I need to snipe that. Pfft, nice. GG, buddy. Go, musketeers. Go, 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 go. Okay, that's huge damage right there. Oh, firecracker shot, shot too. That's a badass poison. Musketeer on the tower. No! Go, princess. Yes! Change lanes. Confuse this guy. Flying machine on the tower, please! Jesus Christ, this was so stressful. Why do I have to stress out in Master 3? Please, Supercell, why are you doing this to me? He was not even playing evolutions, like GG to this guy, like actually, congrats on playing such a skilled deck and sticking with it, congrats, but Please don't do it while I am also playing and specifically playing a deck that like gets countered by your poison delivery in every possible way. Like delivery log on musketeers, dead. Delivery on firecracker, princess, archers, anything, dead. Poison on anything of those cards, dead. The only thing that survives is the cannon and RG, but he has knight and bomb tower. Who cares? I know you don't. Nobody cares. Uh, Thank you so much for watching, though. Uh, if you have any other challenge ideas, maybe more difficult ones than this one, like if you enjoy see me suffer and rage, I guess that the more difficult, the better. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, for now, I just wish you a great day and I hope to see you tomorrow. Take care.